Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Pompizano here. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, my friend and Baltimore music, um, I don't know, let's go with icon in our area, Ricky Wise posted on Facebook this Nor Jones and Terriona tank ball roller coasters. Now, anything that Ricky posts, I'm probably going to check out because Ricky's the man. Um, but he says, this is one of the more moving things I've seen recently. Two incredible talents. I was crying almost immediately. Watch this. Your life needs it. So for Ricky to say that means we have to click. Now, I'm a huge Nora Jones fan uh, and have been forever. One of the very best uh, artists alive today. Um, and that is no understatement. Um, but I don't think I know who Terriona is. Uh, Terriona Tank Ball. So let's hit the button. Ricky, hope you're doing well out there, my friend. This is ice cold, ladies and gentlemen. Can you do it? Can you do it? Ice cold. Do the hook? You, my, will you do it with me? No. <laughs> I want to hear you do it. Oh my God, it's so special. I've always wondered why people rode the biggest roller coasters. Why the feeling brought up some type of excitement that they didn't receive on a regular day. Like when did feeling sick become equivalent to thrill or nausea, the new X pill? I've always wondered why people rode those really big roller coasters. And I remember, I remember when I did. Okay, real quick. Uh, this is a one to a four in E, E major, A major. If you listen really closely, Nora's throwing a little blue, a little blue in there, uh, but like ever so sparingly. Two, I can tell. I don't know what's about to happen, but I can tell both of them love this song and love each other. Three, man, those Shure SM7B microphones are just phenomenal. <laughs> Look at that face. It's the butterflies and the fireflies riding in my stomach. The light between their wings. I'm scared to fly. I might come down. I think I'm ready. Twisting the curve or the up in the swerve, it's smiling so wide. I'm smiling. It's the feeling of my nerves on the front edge of the seat. Eyes are open. Tears are coming from the thrill of sight, moving as fast as light, laughing for no reason, screaming for all the things I should not have said in that last fight. Those roller coasters, those roller coasters, those roller coasters are like meeting God with the kite in your left hand. Strings are still twisted around your forefinger. Your right hand is busy gripping the safety rail. There is this moment when you feel like you're in an incredible ocean of your own butterflies, and this is the moment when you get free and you let your arms fly. I know I'm flying. Oh, this is so cool. Right? Now. It's the butterflies and the fireflies fighting in my stomach. The light between the wings. I'm scared to fly. I might come down. I think I'm ready now. Ready now. Getting.
It's so beautiful. Um, okay, so Terriona Tank Ball. I don't know if this is her <clears throat> general style or if she's, I, mean, I literally don't know her, uh, whether it's, uh, you know, she's more of a poet or spoken word artist uh, than singer, or if this is just how this one is going. But man, the dichotomy, the juxtaposition, whatever you want to call it, the counterpoint between the two of them in such totally different flows is really amazing. I mean, I really get the feeling of flying, right? I really, they're painting the picture so well. And then I love that when Nora sings, when she sings, you know, the hook or whatever you want to call it, I love that it goes to its relative minor, to C sharp minor, to, uh, I think it's G sharp minor, then to B, and then to an A. So like a, a six, three, five, four kind of vibe. Um, but it's so cool that that changes when she comes in, and then it brightens back up to E and A when when Teriona comes in. Um, and just Nora's just silky melodies just connecting perfectly. It's just the the greatest counterpoint to Teriona's uh, spoken word and just like her meter of her flow is so unpredictable, but yet it's like it feels like you're flying. Like I'm, I'm, I, I believe so deeply um, with what she's saying. It's just so cool. And again, don't sleep on Nora's piano playing. Every now and again, she throws something blue in there, something a little chromatic, and you're like, ooh, what was that? And I didn't stop it to point it out. When she does it again, I might, because I'm just trying to listen to what they're saying. And they're so quiet in the room, too. You hear so much breath, so much restraint. You have to have such an incredible mastery over your voice and your instrument uh, to do things low and slow like that and that clean. Don't sleep on that either. sit there oh that's so <laughs> I cute know. i didn't know if i should do it or not no that was oh i love watching her at the end her hands just on the keys just not knowing where she's gonna play and the fact that she just says it and then the look afterwards it's these are two people that really love and care for each other that are tremendous in their own rights and are just thrilled to be doing this um god i love the simplicity of that final hook that Right? And then jump into the... And again, that's just 7 to 1. D sharp into E. And then making that big jump down to... 1, 2, 3, 2. Simple melodies done really, really well. Um, I'm just... I'm such a huge fan. I'm going to go back. I want to see if I can find one of these little moments where Nora does something colorful in here just because it's so cool when it happens bear with me bear with me it's the twist and the curve while the up and the swerve it's smiling so wide i'm smiling it's the feeling of my nerves on the front edge of the seat eyes are open tears are coming from the thrill of sight moving as fast as light laughing for no reason screaming for all the things i should not have said in that last right there 
Right there. Man, we got lucky. Okay. Ch listen. Put your big ears on. For no reason, screams are coming from the thrill of sight, moving as fast as light, laughing. For She's Leading into it with this C sharp. That the, the third of your four chord, right? She's leading into it over this, uh, leading towards the E. No reason screaming for all the things I Then then this little drop in here, right? Major seventh, okay? So we're D sharping and then just walks it down ever so slick over your E chord, right? This flat seven to six. That little chromatic run and listen to the color it makes. As fast as light laughing for no reason, screaming for all the things I should not have said in that last fight. Those roller coasters, those roller coasters, those roller coasters are like meeting God with the and it just brightens, it just, she, she teases it, she puts in the little dirt there, and then immediately brightens up and just voice leads perfectly to the next change. Um, and it just, it just captures that in an instant. You're like when you're on, I'm going to pontificate here, whatever the word is, but when you're on the roller coaster, right? There's that moment when the pit of your stomach, like right when you crest or right at the bottom, where there's that tiny little bit of thing and then it, and then you realize you're safe, like you start to fly and you feel free, but there's that moment when you get crushed down or to the side and it's like, Ugh, and it's that fear that we crave. She just captures it in those little colorful moments on piano and just allows Teriona to just tell the story. This is such a little detail, but these are the things that masters do, that it just makes it. And for the non-musician, you don't even realize it's happening, but it just, it makes what they're saying hit. It's just such clever punctuation. And screaming for all the things I should not have said in that last fight, those roller coasters, those roller coasters, those roller coasters are like meeting God with the kite in your You see, it's, it's like that, that moment of doubt, all the things I should have said or whatever. Um, because you know, obviously we're talking about life's roller coaster, not just you know an actual roller coaster. It's a metaphor, and it's that little thing of doubt, that little thing in the pit of your stomach, like oh maybe it's not okay. I'm overthinking this. I'm overthinking that. That little color that she adds in there, and then when she brightens it up, when you know Terry Owens is like I've met God, you know, and it just the skies part. It's so cool. It's just um, Terry Owens, you have a new fan in me. Nora, you've always had a fan in me. Um, I can't wait to see you um, come through Baltimore in the Mid-Atlantic at some point. I will be there. Um, and, uh, and that's it. Ricky, you're the man. Uh, everybody else out there, if you dig the vibe here, um, please hit subscribe. It's right on the bottom of, of the screen there uh, on YouTube. And if you play guitar, if you are trying to get better or you or your friends or somebody, um, here's my little plug. Uh, Joining a community will help move the needle more than anything. Just like going to the gym, if you go in there and you see people doing stuff, you'll probably work out. If you log on every day and you see people posting videos and working on stuff, you'll probably play. And the biggest hurdle that we all have is just keeping this thing in our hands and getting in the habit of picking it up. And so if that type of thing is attractive to you, if you want to join a community, I would hope you would join mine. It's called Guitargate. It's the first link in the description. It's my life's work. You get all my lessons and my courses. And without the, the uh, you know, regular deviations where I pick the videos, you get to pick what comes next on YouTube. And that's it, my friends. I hope you're all staying well out there. And uh, Nora, I love you. See you soon.